Alrighty, kids. Uh, let's just talk about day four this week. Um, warm up's pretty simple. Just trying to get you moving real quick with the uh, 100, 100 rows with your band. And uh, if you don't have a band, just go with the body rows. We've, we've I've shown those a couple times. Um, you can use a towel or a, a, a sheet wrapped around a tree or, or an upright to kind of mimic that ring row we do at the gym. Uh, some squats as well, just to wake the legs up. Um, and then we get into the fun stuff. What you'll notice is there's uh, kind of three options for our two, two sections today. So uh, first two options are the same movements. It's actually the same amount of reps. We are, I'm just allowing you to break it up more. For people that are really good at pull-ups and toes to bar, go with the 10 at a time option. Um, even for those that are okay, you can still have some good success with doing 10 at a time. Don't think of it as doing 10 in a row, but hey, maybe if I go four, three, and three every round, um, that's a pretty comfortable way of, of getting through it. Uh, now, if you really struggle with that stuff, um, do drop down. Do, do the rounds of five instead. That way it's a little more manageable. The, the pull-ups and toes bar are a little more spaced out. Um, if you don't have a pull-up bar or you are not a pull-upper, uh, there's the third option and that's got the, the rows. Use your weight there, uh, one arm row. That's why it's 10 per side. And uh, you know we still got those burpees in there. Folks that do not have a pull-up bar. Um, my first thought is is, is find one. Uh, you can go out to the parks. We found all sorts of good ones last week. Uh, there's a nice little trail by the Pot Sand School. Um, I found some nice monkey bars that that are spaced out nicely that can be used as pull-up and toes to bar bars down in Ives Park. And no one's no one's out there, guys. So. You know, you can hop up and it's all you. I'm sure um, every town's got a nice park. You can go off the monkey bars or find something on the playground. Uh, I found some nice door frame pull-up bars at Walmart. I got I got one in my uh, my between my dining room and my kitchen. That way, every time I get some food, I have to do pull-ups. Um, if you do end up with the door frame pull-up, do not kip because that thing will go flying. You're gonna, you're gonna have to keep them strict. Um, especially those that have been getting really good at pull-ups and I mean those who don't really use bands or they use a light band it's really in your best interest to find something sooner than that rather than later to use just so you can continue to um, work on the movements and continue to progress with them uh, both both workouts have a similar structure and, uh, you know, for toes to bar, if you're not a toes to bar, you can use your knees to chest and just work on really getting, using that core to get them up as high as possible. I didn't write that in as an option, but you guys know that's always an option. For those that are like, hey, like half the time I get my toes to bar, slow down today, take your time, only count reps where you get your toes to the bar. It'll take longer, but you're gonna get way more out of this. Same goes for the pull-ups. If, if you're counting reps where your chin doesn't quite make the bar, you're, you're, you're cutting yourself short. Count every single rep. This isn't gonna take forever. And you know, what else do we have to do? We're stuck at home. So make those reps count. Um, if you're not a, a, a toes to bar, you're not a knees to chester, we got the, a modification with V-ups and really aim to touch those toes at the top. Um, it's gonna make your range of motion a little bit more and it's just gonna make it suck a little bit more. Um, I hope you enjoy, enjoyed this little video of Ma Coach Maple gnawing on her bone. And uh, there should be, should be a hoot.